This topic that I'm going to talk about today is controversial. It's a little bit scary. I mean, I would say it's not scary, but people are scared to talk about it because they just don't really know much about it. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything about it. Anyways, we're just going to talk about it. I'm just going to be real. I'm going to tell you what I think, what's kind of obvious to what I think for most of you people who know me um, and if you don't know me and you disagree with me I'm totally cool with that but people will definitely disagree with me <laughs> during this video but first I'm gonna go ask my roommates what they think about it hey, I got a question what do you think about Christians with tattoos I don't know <laughs> I think that uh, if they glorify God then go you if Amen. Wrong answer. Amen. <laughs> what do you think about Christian with tattoos? You, you sinner. What about you? I mean... <laughs> what do you think? Tattoos are whack. Bro, tattoos are, <laughs> tattoos, tattoos, tattoos are stupid. Tattoos are so stupid. <laughs> okay, so if you haven't guessed it already, this video is going to be about tattoos. And can you get a tattoo as a Christian? This is a question that I get asked all the time. And... Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know everything about the Bible and so I just found a few verses I feel like the are the most common verses that people ask about if Christians can get a tattoo um, Of course Leviticus 19:28 is gonna be in here and there's a few more that I kind of just want to go around and kind of explain and um, obviously this is what God has revealed to me uh, personally and the convictions that, that I have. I know people's convictions are gonna be different and I know that there's gonna be some people in the comments that just wanna troll and they wanna say that I'm wrong, but these are the convictions that I've developed. And again, I'm not gonna say that I'm absolutely right. There's gonna be some things that we get to heaven that we thought we were right and turns out that God was like, hey, kudos for trying, but like, that's actually not what I said. And so this could very well might be one of those things and might be one of those topics where we get to heaven and God was like, I mean, you weren't really right, but it doesn't really matter because you're here with me and that's all that matters. And so uh, that's the way that at least I think about it. I'm not trying to give myself, uh, you know, an escape route for having tattoos or for, you know, doing whatever, but this topic to me really is is much less about can i get tattoos and can i not get tattoos i think it's more about idolatry and i think it's more about your heart's placement and getting the tattoo for me at least my tattoos I, I know i have like a sweater on right now but i have like basically two sleeves um and I'm, my whole chest is covered and i'll show you guys all my tattoos and you know the stories behind them later but my tattoos for me my 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 mom and my dad whenever i was younger i was about to turn 18 and i remember them asking me why do you want to get the tattoo and you have to remember that the tattoo is going to be on your body for the rest of your life and so with those two things in mind i know that i wasn't just going to get a tattoo of like spongebob or something you know what i mean something random like that i wanted to get a tattoo that meant something that was biblical um, i wanted to mark my body with the word of God, I wanted to resemble God as much as possible with all my tattoos. So, with all that being said, we're gonna dive into some scripture and we're just gonna talk and have an honest conversation. Um, I'm gonna not have any bias when I talk about these things, but I'm gonna read this scripture and I'm gonna read what's around it. I'm not just gonna read to you the point blank scripture by itself. Um, and I'm gonna talk about from what my understanding is of what is around the scripture that most people take out of context. Most people, when they talk about tattoos, they think of Leviticus 19.28, which says, do not cut your bodies for the dead and do not mark your skin with tattoos, I am the Lord. That verse by itself is pretty black and white. It's point blank. And if you were someone that didn't really understand the context of Leviticus, you would think, oh, God's telling me not to get tattoos. But what a lot of people don't do is read the chapter before and the chapter after uh, and the verses surrounding the entire thing so this is where this might step on some people's toes but verses six the same exact chapter in Leviticus Leviticus 19 16 literally says do not spread slanderous gossip among your people if you are a human 
you have fallen underneath this category and probably continue to fall underneath this category. In verse 26, it says, do not eat meat that has not been drained of its blood. If you are a Christian and you are saying, oh, like it's a sin to get tattoos and you're eating steak with the bros on the weekend, then you fall underneath this category. If you trim your hair and you trim your beard, if you are a Christian and you are saying that tattoos are sinful and you trim your hair and your beard, you also fall underneath the same exact category that you are trying to talk about. So in Leviticus, it gives you all of these do's and these don'ts and all this stuff because God is trying to set the Israelites apart. He wants his people to look different and to be different than the rest of the world. And so I think it's pretty self-explanatory that context means a lot when it comes to reading stuff like this, especially whenever it's controversial and people are fighting about it. There's so many people that comment underneath my videos and I'm not, you know, I don't get butthurt about it. I don't, I could honestly care less. Like you can comment as much as you want. You're just kind of boosting the algorithm to push me out more. Not that it's about that at all, but people don't understand that like commenting hate comments and like doing stuff like that does nothing for them. All they're doing is just trying to put their opinion out there. And uh, most of the time I, I ignore it anyways, but literally, okay. So in Leviticus 20, the chapter after, this is where a lot of people don't read. And this is where I feel like it's kind of obvious of like, oh, well, like when you read this, you kind of understand it a lot more. Verse one says that the Lord said to Moses, give the people of Israel these instructions, which apply both to native Israelites and to the foreigners living in Israel. The instructions that God just said to Moses are for the Israelites and for the foreigners living in Israel. So in the context of this, we're seeing the Israelites and we're seeing a lot of pagan beliefs. So if you don't know what pagan beliefs are, it's really just worship of any other God that's not God. So whenever you talk about these verses, you're, you're, you have to think about all of these people were cutting their bodies. They were putting tattoos on their bodies because they were worshiping other gods. Obviously like that's sinful. Like if I get a tattoo of like, Harry Styles on my body like obviously that's probably not the best tattoo to get but if I'm getting tattoos that glorify God if I'm getting scripture if I'm getting um, tattoos that mean something biblically that's I'm worshiping God like I'm worshiping Yahweh and so like that's not really a sinful tattoo and I've tried to make sure that literally all of my tattoos kind of resemble that same thought so for the most part everything that I've read either shows you <laughs> that you're in the same category if you're saying that Christians with tattoos are sinful um, and you eat m meat, you eat steak, and if you trim your hair on your face and the hair on your head, you also fall under the same category. Also, if you gossip, like most people, I, I probably go, can't even go four or five hours without hearing someone gossip about someone and especially on Christian TikTok Christian influencers in that realm. There's a lot of talk and a lot of just like bickering and fighting over people and people making videos about who's wrong and who's right and all this stuff. Like people don't understand that that's gossip. Like that that is a, that's the that clearly states in what, what is it? Verse 16, that like you fall underneath that same exact category that you're talking about. So I don't know, I hope that makes sense. Another verse that people always bring up is Romans 12, two, right? It says, don't copy the behavior and the customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So it's talking about not copying the world, not copying what other people are doing in the world. Once you get past Leviticus and you get past all that, those arguments, um, and the controversy around that, most people will say, well, you shouldn't get tattoos because your body is a temple and you're supposed to live for God and you're not supposed to follow the ways of the world and everything. Um, and again, I would argue that a lot of things and a lot of what people do now, it's not really a, uh, a law issue. It's not really whether or not if it's a sin or not. 
I think it comes down to more of idolatry. Like, what are you worshiping? And intentionally or maybe unintentionally worshiping. And so if you're getting tattoos of like your favorite bands or you're getting tattoos of like your favorite sports teams or something like that, how much is your heart into what you're putting on your body? Again, I think that if you're getting scripture, if you're being marked by the word of God, if you're getting tattoos like, you know, like this is Hebrew for love. If you're getting something that means something biblically, um, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I think that you should be free to, to express yourself in an artistic way. And I think that's it. So moving on, we're going to go and we're going to flip a couple pages over, but we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 says, Don't you realize that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and who is given you to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. Context is really important here. Paul is writing to the Corinthians and he's talking about sexual sin. He's talking about sexual immorality. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, they were not, <laughs> sexually they were not doing what they were supposed to do. Uh, and they were doing a lot of things that weren't what God had made them for or intended them to do sexually. I think you know where I'm going. So he's talking about avoiding sexual sin and just not falling into temptation, not doing things that you're not supposed to be doing with your body. And so I, I hope that makes sense. Okay, moving on. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope everything that I've kind of expressed kind of clears the air a little bit. That's just what I've read from scripture again and uh, the conclusions that I have made. So people always ask me, Zach, is it a, a sin for me to get a tattoo as a Christian? Am I a bad person if I get if I get tattoos? What do you think? And they always ask me what I think. And obviously, like if I have sleeves and I have tattoos all over my body, you probably would already have guessed what I think about tattoos. I use tattoos, and this is this is not this is not from scripture. This is not anything. I'm just kind of explaining what I think right now. For me, as a Christian who is pursuing holiness uh, and pursuing a deep found relationship with Jesus with deep convictions and trying to live out Jesus' life as much as I can. I'm not a perfect human being. I get things wrong all the time. I'm trying to live as much like Jesus as I can. Anyways, I think my personal opinion about tattoos is I am a creative person. I think a lot. I love to think artistically. I love music and I love aesthetic things. So whenever I wanted to get a tattoo at 18, it's not even that I didn't even have the wrong intentions about getting a tattoo when I was 18. I know that there's people out there and I think if I would have gotten a tattoo earlier in my life, I probably would have got something kind of stupid. I guess I'll just go ahead and show you guys all my tattoos and the stories behind them. And I think you might understand a little bit more where my heart is, so. Okay, so I've realized that this video is a lot longer than I had wanted it to be. So there's gonna be two parts to this video, so. If you just saw the first video and you wanna see a tattoo tour of all the tattoos that I have, just stay tuned for the next video. So yeah, 